Today, we're gonna to show you how to crop your images to specific aspect ratios. For instance, if you're doing a four by six print or a five by seven or an eight by 10, we're gonna show you how to do that in Photoshop, but we're also gonna show you how to add to your image if necessary using AI. We got a great tutorial for you. Let's jump in. Hey there, my name is Aaron Nace. You can find me at flern.com. We've got such a cool tutorial for you and two different examples. So we are starting off here. Let's hit F for full screen with our image. Now let's say you wanted to go ahead and crop your image. So there's a few things that I recommend doing. First, you can hit C for your crop tool or just go ahead and click it right over here. Now you just wanna use your standard crop tool. All right, a few different options I recommend setting. Up on the very top, this is gonna be the default option. It's gonna say delete cropped pixels. The problem with that is if you wanna change your crop later, it's actually gonna delete part of your pictures. So no big deal, just make sure you check that box so it's unchecked. You do not want a check mark here and that way you can get back your crop at any time. Okay, next thing you wanna do is right over here where it says fill, you wanna make sure this, this says generative expand. That way, if you wanna get even bigger than your original image, you can do that using AI, so generative expand. Okay, and then here is where your ratios are. So you can just start off with the very top. So you can see you have a list here, you can see ratio, you can type in width by height resolution, you can go with the original and there are some preset ones here as well. Okay, so let's just try to start with our ratio. Let's just say we have a ratio. Let's do a one ratio by one. Okay, it's basically a one to one ratio. That's going to be a square crop. Okay, so here we can have a square crop. And if you're done, if that looks pretty good, you just hit this checkbox right up there and you're good to go. Now, the cool thing, because we have AI, is we can actually expand with the square crop too. So let's go ahead and click on our image once more. Now, when you click on it, you can see it activates the crop shield. Here we go. The rest of the image is back there. Remember, we unchecked delete crop pixels, so it's there for us to reference if we want. Now, what you want to do is you can actually grab either this corner here or these sides. Check it out. If you grab this corner and pull out like this, it's going to crop out in that direction. But if you hold Alt or Option, it's going to expand out equally in all directions. Just makes it a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and expand that out. There we go. Let's put our subject right in the middle. Now, as you can see, it brought back some of the information from the original image right up here at the very top. Okay, but on the sides, there was never anything there. So what it's going to do is it's going to use this generative expand to actually fill that area with image pixels. Okay, now here it asks, would you like to generate anything? You don't have to set that to anything. If you just want it to figure out what it should be there, just hit generate. There we go. And you can see it's generating and we are good to go. Of course, you're gonna get a few different options when you do this, look at this. And of course, we have a few different examples here of what the actual image looks like. I think this after looks really good. So as we can see, we can crop to any ratio and even expand our image. Now, if you wanna change that at any time, it's really easy to do. All you have to do is go right up here to where it says ratio. And in this case, let's say we're doing a five by seven print. We're just gonna click on five by seven, okay? And it's gonna automatically crop that to a five by seven and we can just hit enter. And there we go. We have a five by seven crop of our image. And if you want to, you can click in there again and we're just gonna get a little bit closer and hit enter. And then here we have a nice five by seven of our original photo. Okay, now we have one more great example. We're gonna show you how to switch those ratios around. So taking a look at our second image, we're gonna start in the same way. Let's hit C for the crop tool, or you can just click on your crop tool there. Again, make sure delete crop pixels is unchecked and your fill is gonna be set to generative expand. Now in this case, let's say we wanna do a ratio of 16 by nine. And you can see it's created a 16, 16 by nine ratio on my image. Again, if I need to, I can hold Alt or Option and then click on these edges here and simply expand my crop out. Fantastic. And let's see if I hit this checkbox up there. This is gonna begin again using generative fill to just fill in these edges. It's such a unique tool. Now this is a 16 by nine horizontal image, but what happens if you wanna do a 16 by nine vertical for like Instagram stories? All you have to do is click on this little icon right there, boom, and then you're gonna get a 16 by nine vertical and then maybe we wanna just expand that out just a little bit in this direction. We'll go ahead and hit enter there and make sure that it looks good. All right, 
Fantastic. Now, if I click on this with my crop tool, now I have all this information. I have a little bit of information up there. This is kind of blank space, but I have information on the top. What if you want to type in your own ratio? Let's say you're doing an 8 by 10 print. Well, all you have to do is right up here where the numbers are, just type in 8, and then you go to this number, and then we'll just type in 10. Fantastic. And we have an 8 by 10 print. And let's hit that checkbox and see what it does, because now it's going to try to fill information from these corners here. Okay. So if it fills that correctly, you can see, yep, that looks pretty good to me. <laughs> it filled that really correct. Now, here's another tip. If you're just on a regular crop, let's say you crop your image like this, okay? You're, you you bring your image like that and it's 8 by 10 and it didn't automatically fill this area, not a big deal. All you have to do is grab like a marquee tool, like a rectangular marquee. We're just going to select this area at the bottom, just click and drag there and then click on generative fill. You don't have to type in anything and then go to generate. So if you're ever left over with some of these like transparent pixels in your image, just generative fill them in and you're easy to go. Even like right there on the corner, you can see it didn't uh, it didn't fill that in. So I'm just gonna generate a tiny little bit there on the corner as well. So you can change your crop anytime and fill in information as needed. That way you can keep your subject nice and centered. And if you wanna double check your crop, all you have to do is right over here, go to your crop, and then you have, as you can see, an eight by 10. This also works really well if you're starting off with a small image, but you wanna print it a little bit larger, simply generate more information around the edges, and then you can print it at a larger size without losing any definition. And that's all there is to cropping at specific aspect ratios, which should help you with printing or putting these images into social media or on the web. Thanks you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below to let me know what you'd like to see. And if you want to get more free tutorials, simply click on that subscribe button. Thanks again, and I will learn you later. Bye, everyone.